Well, I have a question for you. Have you ever wondered why can't we see green light of the sky? We are always talking about blue light and red light, but we don't see the green color of the sky. Well, if you want to know, then make sure you watch the video till the end because we will talk about that today. Hello everyone, welcome to another video and after a long time we are back with another video. So today we are going to talk about why does the color of sky remain blue during the day and turns red during the sunset. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So in order to understand why the color of the sky changes with time, we must understand a phenomenon called the Tyndall effect. Now Tyndall effect is something that you have studied in class 9 where we see how light scatters in the presence of certain particles. Now the size of the particles also matter as to how much the light will scatter, in what direction it will scatter and everything else regarding scattering. But the idea that we need to have in order to understand the color of the sky is just the basic Tyndall effect that particles in the presence of particles light will scatter it. Itself. That means if there is a particle and there is a ray of light coming this way, then it will scatter in different directions. Okay, so it will have or it will be dispersed. So now because of this scattering, what happens is we see a different uh, color of light in different situations. Now what are these situations and how do we see the color of the sky as blue or as red? Now we know that we have an atmosphere. I mean this is a very general thing but we have an atmosphere. Outside the atmosphere if we go, if you have seen in movies or even in the live videos of NASA that they show that they send their spaceship outside means outside the atmosphere into the space, the color of the sky at that point of time is actually black. We don't see any particular color of sky, it appears to be black. Now why does the sky appear to be black outside the space, I mean outside the atmosphere. Now this is because atmosphere contains particles, lots and lots of particles of different sizes. Now since there is a particle means there is a medium in which light will scatter itself just like Tyndall effect takes place. So when light enters the atmosphere it encounters the particles and as a result of encountering the particles they start to scatter. So light will scatter but in the space no scattering of light takes place in order in addition to that there is no medium like the atmosphere so we cannot see any color of the sky okay that's why it appears black outside the atmosphere but inside the earth I mean on the earth inside the atmosphere what we see is that there is scattering of light now because of scattering we will see certain colors now which colors are the question now we see blue light or blue color of the sky during the day now why does that happen so when the Sun is up means above our head during the daytime at that time what happens the distance traveled by the light from the I mean during the afternoon or during the noon time 12 p, uh, p.m. or something like that around that time when we have a noon time the sun is exactly over our head as a result the distance the light has to travel is the minimum let me show you using a small schematic diagram suppose this is the surface of the earth okay now the light from the sun will come and encounter here on this surface this distance compared to the distance of the sun when it was here during sunset this distance will be much more so this distance is more than this distance so what happens when the light will encounter will come directly into the earth it will face the atmosphere right so when it reaches the atmosphere because of the particles the light will start to scatter now as the distance is small scattering of only blue light or indigo light takes place okay the remaining light don't get enough a uh, space to get scattered there is not much uh, longer of a time for the light to get scattered so the distance is small as a result the light that is scattered is blue now why blue light now we must remember the scattering of light occurs more in case of lights with shorter wavelength so shorter the wavelength of light more is the scattering longer the wavelength less is the scattering so blue light scatters most I mean not blue it's actually violet violet light scatters most and which scatters least is the red because red has the highest wavelength we have studied about vibgior v i b g y o r violet has the smallest wavelength red has the largest wavelength 
so violet scatters the most yes, as it scatters so much we actually can't see violet it, it gets scattered at the very beginning but blue is at such a position in the spectrum that this distance this sort of distances during the day is actually perfect for blue to be seen okay the distance that the sun has for in order to reach our eyes the light to reach our eyes this distance is perfect for blue to be seen that's why we see the color of sky as blue during the day because blue scatters and we see it scatters easily and the distance is perfect for us to see blue light now what happens during the sunset the sun comes here the distance becomes too long in that case what happens blue light scatters obviously but as the distance is so long the blue light scatters and gets finished means it's, it's like it has scattered and it is over it cannot reach such a long distance because its wavelength is small it gets scattered too much just like the case it happens with violet when violet light starts to come it get, gets scattered at the very beginning so it can't reach your eyes it is gone at the top but blue light can reach your eyes here in case in this case the blue light will get scattered at the beginning because it will travel the amount of distance here it will travel this distance after that suppose here the scattering of blue light is over you can't see blue light anymore but which light will come more the light which is scattered less so red having the highest wavelength reaches our eyes easily because it is not scattered more so as it is not scattered more it can easily come and reach our eye obviously it is scattered as it is scattered you can see but it is scattered less that is important it is scattered less compared to the other lights okay so that's why we see red color of the sun or the sky at in the evening recently and in, the, in, the, in the, i think in a in the last week or i think the last few days we have seen a beautiful rainbow and the color of the sky was very beautiful orange reddish orange type of color and you will see very many whatsapp stories and facebook feeds were filled up with the color of the sky being red beautiful now you must understand that we don't always see the color only as red it is not the dark or bright red it is a mixture of red orange and yellow because of this combination y o r the color of the sky is not only red it is a mixture of yellow orange and red that's why we don't see pitch red color means just perfect red bright red color in the sky no we don't see that we see a dim bright uh, i mean dim red color because of the mixture of orange and yellow now comes a question that is all about what we need to study from the book now the question comes why don't we see the color green we are watching blue we are watching yellow orange red mixture which we are calling it as red then where does the green go why can't we see green that is a very interesting question there why can't we see green so let's look into that matter green in order to see green there needs to be a particular type of particles means particular size of particles now the the types of particles that we have in our atmosphere actually does not contain the the, the optimum size or the perfect size at which green light will be scattered as a result what happens blue scatters these lights also scatter but here this green this green cannot get scattered because of the absence of particular size of particles as i said in the beginning of the video that the size of the particles will also determine how much light gets scattered which lights get scattered so the particle size is very important now in our atmosphere we don't have these sizes of particles which can scatter green light that's why it skips the green there is another thing i think you know that northern green lights i think you can search it on the internet you will see that in the uh, northern pole green light is sometimes visible in the sky you can see the pictures on the google images you can search it there northern lights northern green lights you can search now there sometimes we see green light now green light will be visible during any storm or any sort of uh, uh, hurricane or any sort of um, this, this this sort of activities means you have either storm or you have hurricane or you have a tornado so these sort of situations you may see the green light because in those situations emergence of these sizes of particles appear in the atmosphere okay these sizes of particles appear during any storm or during any type of tornado or any hurricane or etc etc those sort of things so these incidences or these phenomena create the particles which can scatter green light that's why in very limited areas and in very limited amount of time we can see green light not in you will not see green light above silchar or assam 
uh, we don't see that but if we go at certain locations on the earth we may experience watching green light of the sky you can see it on the internet you can see it on youtube there are videos available on that it's a beautiful beautiful sight but we don't see it here because of the absence of certain particles so i hope you understood why the color of the sky is blue during the day and it becomes red during the evening and why we skip green so this part, this part that I explained will not be coming in your exam, but it is a very interesting fact, so I decided to share with you. So I hope you understood what I explained today and that is the end of this chapter. I hope it is clear to you. If there is any confusion, feel free to ask me. I am there to help you out. So thank you everyone for watching and until next time.